Today I want to be talking about how to dramatically increase your image quality for your webcam. A lot of people have the misconception that they need something like this for it. But I want to rather show you what you can do to improve the video quality of a regular streaming webcam. Or in other words, how to turn this into something like this. My name is Oliver and I have been a full-time content creator for YouTube and Twitch for over two and a half years now. And today I want to show you how to turn your passion for video gaming into a sustainable career. So let's get started. In order to understand what we are doing now, I need to quickly explain how a camera works in a nutshell. It's very, very easy. So the centerpiece of a camera is the light sensor. If light hits the sensor, this sensor will then transfer the light signal over to a digital signal and then sends it over to your PC. And the bigger the sensor, the more light can actually hit it and the more dynamic you will get into your image. Which means that if you have a DSLR, for example, which has a rather high and big sensor, the image quality overall and the image dynamic will be very good, which means the whites are white and the darks are dark. And and you have a broad variety of uh, steps between the very dark areas and the very bright areas. The problem with the regular streaming webcams is that the sensor is rather small and although they are advertising low light compensation, this sensor is not picking up that broad of a dynamic of light, which means the signal has to be artificially amplified afterwards, which results in a lot of distortion because the base grain and everything else will be amplified too, which leads to a very, very poor signal. So in order to eliminate the need of artificial amplification, we need to crank up the input signal. And that means we need more light. If we get a lot of light on the camera sensor, then the camera has already a very good balance and it can work with that higher amplified signal and it doesn't need any artificial post gain anymore. Which means that uh, you should get a cheap light. And I mean cheap, don't get something fancy early on if you're just starting out. You don't need any Elgato key lights or anything super expensive in terms of softboxes or so. Go to the hardware store and get yourself a cheap light for like 20 bucks or so. I've been using this for about one and a half years now. And as you can see, it is broken already because it wasn't really made for the sustained use. However, this is one of those very cheap daylight lamps and it does the job just fine. It is bright, it has already a soft cover, it has a wall mount so I can mount it directly above my camera and it was perfect for a while. And now I have a bit of a different setup um, but I'm gonna talk about that later. So guys, get yourself a cheap light so that your base uh, input signal is already pretty high and we can work with that. Now, after you got that, what do you need to do? I will show you now, so let's hop over to OBS. So I have set up my Logitech G922 and I have two lights here, one on the right side, which is a bit more red and one on the left side, which is a bit more blue so that I have both of my sides of the face lit up and uh, they have a bit of a color contrast here that distinguishes them a little bit more from one another. But it is perfectly fine if you have just one light right above your camera that lights your face completely. So guys, let's do the first thing. We have our stream cam here and we will go to properties first because that's the most important part and then we're gonna configure the video. What you need to turn off is the auto exposure and sorry for the Germany it's just my standard language on my operating system. This one here is the exposure and you just remove this little check mark and stick to five. Five is really good but what happens now is um, they have something like an amplification here which is not represented by the number because if you click that you can see it goes down. It was I would say around this area, 116. But as you could see earlier, if you just tune that down to something like that, you now have a very nice picture. The artificial amplification is just completely turned off. I mean, we are down to 17, that would be completely off. But yeah, putting it down to like 20 or so already gives us a great viewing experience. Now, another thing that we're gonna do after that, we're gonna click OK here, is we're gonna go over to right click filters and here's the fun thing we can add some filters so that the image would look a bit more natural at the moment i'm rather pale and the the image is quite bluish so here's what we do we're gonna add a lut and uh, that is gonna be super cool there it is apply lut that is basically a filter that you would probably know from instagram or something like that so we quickly browse over here and obs already brings some luts in it for example, this one here, which looks quite bad, but I'm gonna give you some LUTs 
Link down below in the description for free that I created. It's 25 of them. And um, if you want to use them, just go ahead, download them and um, just use them. So here are mine. Mm, let's take, I don't know, let's take the condo one. Um, that's a bit too much. So my, my whole background, while it's an, a nice filter, but it got way more pale. And I didn't really want that. So I could actually adjust the amount of um, the filter that is actually applied to my image. But you know what? This is not a good filter for what I have in mind here. Let's go back to that and um, take the high contrast filter. As you can see, you can put a lot of contrast on this. And this is more like it. This is way more like it. Okay, well, maybe I've overdone it a bit. So let's go back to filters and uh, tune it back a bit. You can apply another lot afterwards if you like. Uh, wait, name is already in use. We need to name it Lot 2. And you can just stack them if you like. But be careful with it. It could be a little bit, it could be a little bit uh, too much afterwards. So this is the Wild West one. It gets a little bit of a sepia touch here. We can add a bit more red and orange to the image. So that would look very good already. So, and then you just use that camera image. You put it on your overlay and you are all set. Okay, pro tip before we finish the video. If you really want to make your face stand out, then just turn off every other light in your room. Have your lights that you have set up, mine is again left and right here, just illuminate your face and try to be relatively close to your face with the light so that the rest of your room is not illuminated at all. It would look very much like this. This way your face sticks out way more and let's be honest, the most two important things are your gameplay and the face that the people should see. So it is all about your persona. And yeah, as I was saying earlier, just turn off every other light and get close to your light source with your face or get your light source close to your face so that they won't illuminate the room and just your face. You have a nice high contrast now. And especially when you are in a very small window, it is very easy to distinguish your face from the background. So I hope I could help you increase the video quality of your stream today. And if I did, then please leave a rating. It would be very much appreciated. And if you want more content like that, then hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell so that you get the notifications. And I hope to see you guys next time.